Hello everyone, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Yeah, uh, what you're seeing here is the Aztec Park. The Aztec Park. What is the Aztec Park again? They, oh, didn't you make a video of it like a couple months ago? And if, didn't you say you were like gonna do it for a competition in a in a Channel 5 Gaming Discord or something? Oh yes, I did, and I didn't finish it because I didn't <laughs> I didn't feel like playing Planet Coaster at the time. I was completely obsessed with Assassin's Creed. So I, did, I just didn't feel, feel like playing the game, and then uh, if I don't feel like playing a game, I don't play the game. But I'm back, and I want to finish it anyway, even though the competition is already uh, over. <laughs> but like, I still really, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, complete this park. It's not a massive project; it's it's sizable, but it should be doable uh, in a couple, uh, in like a couple of months. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. These videos will be scheduled for every Wednesday, uh, so that's like gonna be like some motivation for me to keep working on it. And uh, yeah, bring these videos out to you guys. Um, so what is what was this uh, park about again? Yeah, um, building a giant dark ride with uh, an Aztec theme around it. And for the competition initially, uh, you had uh, to have like two flat rides, one main attraction, and it couldn't be bigger than 40 by 40 as uh, um, park size in game. And I'm still gonna adhere to those um, requirements, even though it's not for a competition or anything. I just want to finish it as I originally planned. Uh, there was a park, uh, a guest limit for 500 guests. I'm getting rid of that though. That's, that's, that was stupid. And the park look, just looks better with more guests, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm also not gonna build outside of the park boundaries for the most part. Uh, just some. Um, Supports for the backdrops and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I actually uh, already built a lot in this park by this point. So this footage is a couple months old when I was first constructing it. But since then, I've been back in the park, done the ride skin from some other rides, uh, like the big um, Gears of Fear ride in the other side of the park, and it's really starting to come together. This outside section. Outside section. I haven't started on the dark ride itself though, but so if you have any tips or ideas for the dark ride inside, uh, let me know. I'm really uh, looking forward to build a dark ride again, even though it's such a massive load of work. But I mean, uh, we don't have to uh, finish this park in a set time frame. But I'm also not gonna have like a Jolly Witch situation where I'm not gonna upload anything for eight months on this park. So yeah, I haven't forgotten this park. And I know some people are really, really looking forward to it, so I'm happy to bring it back. And uh, we're gonna just finish it like we're doing everything now. We're gonna finish Jollywood. We're gonna fill in the, finish the Palace Zoo, the Willem Zoo, uh, and this park. Um, and also, there's a new Nexus contest coming up. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, link the, uh, I'll give a link to the Nexus dis Discord below as well. Uh, that's a Discord where I usually hang out, uh, with where all my friends are. and. Uh, they uh, are like growing and they are also in like having competitions now in Planet Coaster. And their contest is like a knockout contest. But um, really interesting, but I'll explain that some more in the contest video, which I will uh, be releasing hopefully later this week. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, that's great fun. Um, but yeah, this park, this park. What am I building uh, here, by the way? So I did like a little cover for the, for the entrance spawner, for the guest spawner. Because the, that's where the guests spawn, of course. And I really, the, the thing with the spark is I want everything to look like it's encased from the guest perspective. So if you look at it from a top down perspective, um, you obviously notice, like, okay, I am not in uh, South America somewhere in the Amazon jungle. No, I am indeed in a theme park. Because we're building a theme park after all. And I'm not building a, an actual Aztec temple. Uh, which you would find in the, in, the, in in the nature of the Amazon, right? So yeah, uh, so you can see like different structures to <laughs> keep like these um, backdrops holding up, and it's really fun to like have a mix of heavy theming and just the backside of uh, backside of it looks like shit for the guests. But um, as me as like a realism uh, file, I'm a realism file. Is that is that a word? I don't know, but um, really into that stuff, so I can. Uh, just put some uh, concrete looking slabs on there and uh, put some dirt decals and it'll look uh, fun for, at least for my brain to say oh yeah okay that looks like it could be possible uh, so I tried like this uh, building right here this um, 
Well, now it's just a grey box, but I will detail it, obviously. But that's gonna be, that's that's basically where the restaurant is, for the little shop there. I mean, the kitchen, I mean. And just some backstage area, maybe a staff center. But you're not supposed to see that from inside the park. So what did I do? I downloaded these stone slams. Uh, if you search rock on the workshop and just a filter through TMTK, you'll find it. It's amazing. It's just a flat rock. But since we don't have flat rocks in this game, I use it everywhere in this park. But yeah, um... I use it here to uh, create an illusion of a backdrop of a, of like a, a rock wall, right? That you are you fully immersed in this Aztec area. But in the back here, I'm putting down uh, concrete slabs. <laughs> wow, I'm even boring myself. Wow, no, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, for people into realism, of course. Okay, like, you don't need to theme every corner of a building if your guests are not gonna see the other side of the building. Um, Disney doesn't do that, Universal doesn't do that. You should like look up aerial pictures from Disney World and you'll see what I mean. Like you have a nice facade on from of, like this uh, western town, whatever, and then on the back it's just a grey concrete husk of a building. Um, because well, why would you invest money in that if you aren't going to see it? And uh, Disney does a great job with that. Um, it's also expensive. Because you need to put a lot of money in theming, realistically. But like money is in the nation when Planet goes to luck. Especially not a sandbox mode. So I'm gonna go all out. It's gonna be realistic to the point where it's plausible that this could be creative if someone had enough money. Uh, because usually a criticism I get is like, Oh, this would cost so way much to money. Like no one would ever build this. Well, yeah, maybe. Um, but it is possible. And people also sometimes on the other side of the spectrum build like a big mountain, like a giant mountain, and they say, well, if someone has enough money, they can build a mountain out of dirt. Yeah, okay, but you don't see that. No one does that. Why would you spend so much money on a dirt mountain? Uh, just make use of the terrain that's already there, or like, don't do it at all. Uh, that, that's why, or just dig a hole. Uh, that, that happens more often, actually. People, that's also cheaper than building an actual mountain, I think. Um, like Nemesis in Alton Towers has that because they can't build at all above the tree line so they dug down and it's an amazing coaster right really interesting uh, so yeah I'm just covering this uh, little um, well what is it center uh, path structure uh, I'm uh, like making that look pretty and these are gonna have some fountains inside and it will like provide a nice pathway to the main attraction, the dark ride, you can see in the back there. And on, on top of that big dark ride, especially above the exit, like straight ahead from this perspective of uh, this path structure, it's gonna be a big Aztec temple. It's gonna be the main weenie, the big photo point of this park. Uh, but I can only construct that after the dark ride is finished, otherwise I'll have to move under there to, move, to put all the scenery in place there. So that's gonna be annoying. But yeah, I'm looking forward to build that. Um, by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe if you like this video, it helps out the channel. And uh, also join the Discord server, uh, there's a link down in the description. So that's the place where we discuss everything and you can give suggestions, you know the deal. Like, it's our community. Uh, you can post pictures of your own parks, I'll uh, tell you what I think of it. Uh, give each other feedback, stuff like that. Alright, uh, but here we are working on the little queue for the world rig. Uh, which isn't going to be pirate themed at all in my park. Maybe uh, like a Spanish expedition, maybe at the most. Um, yeah, I covered that up in rocks, and now the queue I'm also covering up in rocks and ruins and gravel here. Oh, I need to yell again. Oh, I was so tired. Oh, so doing. Uh, it doesn't matter really. Um, yeah, uh, some plants. Are really nice uh, adventure plants. Uh, if you are struggling to decide on which pack you want to buy first, if you're buying a pack. Get either the, uh, the adventure pack, the studios pack, or the um, spooky pack. I would say those are definitely the three best packs. Maybe the Ghostbusters pack too. There's some good stuff in there. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just uh, I would suggest those. Um, again, making these walls a bit more prettier with like some random markings, and I ended up using this marking everywhere in the park because it saves time on building and it looks good. I mean, it doesn't really have any meaning uh, anyway. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what can you expect to see more in this park? Um, pretty much this type of stuff, like 
uh, Aztec architecture, structures, building temples. And then of course the main event is inside. And also the food court inside. It's gonna be giant. It's gonna be, uh, well, it's just gonna be a giant cave with like an uh, indoor viewing. Yeah, but this episode is mainly just general work on the area um, because it uh, didn't finish a specific element of the park. I, well, I built this little fountain area. I built the temple in the back, the really, really rig skin, but uh, it's not completely finished yet. But yeah, I recorded this a long time ago, so it's hard to go through. Oh, what did I build exactly? Why didn't it continue here? So uh, yeah, this is just going to be the episode for today. And uh, next week will uh, be the next episode. And uh, Saturdays will be Jollywood, you know. And uh, the contest video will be somewhere in a week too. And uh, yeah, I use these, um, I don't know what they call called. Like the, the, the bushy bush for the balls. It put, turned that really dark. And uh, oh my god. Uh, so, uh, oof, oh, it's, I should get some sleep. It's horrible. Uh, I actually have slept enough. I'm just maybe too tired because I slept enough. But anyway, I use those things a lot. And then here, here I started doing the outline. Yeah, yeah, the outline of the of the building uh, where the dark guy is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna just be one giant facade. It's gonna be great. And then some uh, a truck and some jerry cans and boxes. Who would have thought that? Yeah, more well, great. I'm also re uh, adding Rene uh, the. What's, uh, what's the name uh, the, the, the entertainer in this part? Because well, that's exactly what she's made for, like Aztec expedition stuff. So you're gonna see her walking around. I'm gonna make a me meeting point a couple of episodes from now. It's gonna be great. I also started putting these stones on the wall, uh, on the floor as well, uh, just uh, because it mixes very well with the temple structure, and uh, I don't know, it makes sense in some ways at least. So more of these uh, trees and more rocks. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, the, the, the challenge with this park is that it's very uh, monochrome in both color and just similar in execution of how I build things. Um, it's I wouldn't call it lazy, it's just efficient and it looks good in the end. I mean, you, I could have had more color variation, uh, stuff like that, but I don't, don't want to linger too long on this project. It's already a massive project as it is. And um, it's gonna be nice when it's finished. So yeah, I might um, come back to it once later. I'm also thinking about more about like ambience speakers and stuff because I haven't really used those in a long while because for YouTube I usually put on uh, under like a music soundtrack or whatever but uh, a lot of people obviously download these parks and then there's no music and I think oh that's kind of sad so I'm gonna do that once again uh, I did that with some of the planet coaster builds I used to do but I haven't done it in Johnny Wood at all or planets or planets who doesn't have custom audio of course Boo, add, add custom audio, please. That would be great. And curbs, curbs, please, as well. Uh, yeah, Planet Zoo, I don't know why they haven't added that. Uh, like, I think at this time in Planet Coast's development, those things were already there, so. It's kind of a bit disappointing. Also, billboards, there aren't billboards in Planet Zoo. I don't know why it's uh, taking them so long, but I've, uh, I bet there's a good reason for it. Uh, yeah, uh, this building, this temple, well, it looks like a pile of temple pieces now, literally, but um, that's the first eight building, and I, I uh, in the build episode here, I didn't completely finish it, uh, well, I thought I did, oh my god, oh my god, okay, um, I need to get some sleep, uh, but yeah, um, I didn't completely finish it, but um, I did later in like last week. But I decided to show you the cinematic of the finished and uh, the finished building anyway because it just looks better than the one you you're gonna see here in the speed build. Um, looks like fun now and um, things are starting to come together. I'm, uh, I'm learning to use more and more pieces here. This also gives me an opportunity to use some different pieces than I use normally because I'm usually very much into the real buildings like colleges and stuff and of course this, these are, could be real too but like not in mainstream cities and areas so uh, yeah a heavily themed park for once that's a bit different from Jollywood well that's also heavily themed but I don't know you know you guys know what I mean it's so just a bit of a different experience um, yeah what else to say I put a lot of work into um, these custom 
symbols on this uh, little temple. Well, it's not really little, it's quite big actually, it's quite massive actually. Um, I don't know, I, I, I didn't really do that after this, <laughs> but it looked alright, so I just kept it like that. Um, and some more pillars, and I put like a basic concrete or I don't know what it was, plaster roof. Because guests are not gonna see it once again, like, if guests are not gonna see it, why put effort into it? I'm thinking like that, and you can also then put vents there, I don't know, there's gonna be some facilities that uh, are in place, like lights, whatever. Um, I really like what I ended up with, with the whirly, whirly rig, that I, I put it up a bit, and then I created like a stairway coming down for it, so it seems a bit more epic, than just a stupid kid's ride, so... I don't know, it's all in the theming and the, and the things about that, yeah, so um, some more little rugs there. Anyway, if you uh, if you liked the video, uh, click that like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, that's it. Bye!